That's a second video of chapter 11. Alternate solutions. Is that what it was called? Something like that. That that sounds right, because all I could remember was that it started with an A, because the chapter spell out Nicole is dead, the first letters. Oh God. So this is A and dead? This is the A and dead. Yes. So we're almost done? Mm-hmm. Alright, so I'm going to keep the upgrade bench thing in here. You can see what I spent my money on for the plasma cutter and the rig. And then I, I think I had the stasis thing completely upgraded by this point too, but I talked about that in the previous video. Oh, this is nextgenwalkthroughs.com. Don't want to forget that. We're the best around. And I have to apologize that I haven't been updating the site as frequently as I like to. And a couple people were bitching about that and sent me emails politely asking me to update the site. Because I always say, watch the videos on our site, not on YouTube. And then, they're and, and, and then we site. don't make the playlist for YouTube because we want you to go to our website. But it takes me a week to update the site because the site just got a million things going on and it slips my mind sometimes. For whatever reason. For whatever reason. Too much drinking. <laughs> um, so I'm going to be sure to do a better job of keeping this updated in the future. So you bastards quit bugging me. <laughs> oh, Just they're not bastards. Then what are they? They're fine young gentlemen. Oh, okay. And maybe one chick, if you're lucky. <laughs> no, they're watching the Zelda guide. Oh. They're, they're not watching Dead Space. That is a good point. Mm -hmm. I bet there's one chick who's... My mom. Oh, your mom. the only chick that watches these. Yep. So you might recognize this area as the very first room of the game. And as soon as you walk up to that door, shit just goes crazy and like 10 different guys come running down. Obviously just chop off their legs so they're a lot slower. And then in a second or two here, there's going to be a couple guys that drop down on top of you. So you're probably going to have to run out of this little cubby. Fortunately, most of them have their legs cut off, so it's not too hard to escape. Like Enrique Iglesias. Escape. No, no. You can run, you can hide, but you can't escape my love. Was that <laughs> Jennifer Love Hewitt, or was that... Uh, Anna? I Anna. I remember. Anna Kornikova, one of those two. I think two. it was Anna, and I think uh, Jennifer Love Hewitt was the hero I can be your hero. I can't say. You're probably wondering why we know so much about Enrique Iglesias. He's popular when we were in like middle school or early high school or Back something. Back when we like enjoyed that. MTV. Back when, uh, you know. I watched TRL. Yeah, back when I watched TRL. Like Three o'clock after school. After school yeah. yeah. Carson Daly was the host. Mm hmm. Talk closer to the mic, dude. Talk closer to the mic, dude. I, you want to be heard, right? No, dude. No? All I'm right. just here. All right, so this is the Peng treasure. Uh, it's worth 30000 bucks, and you get an achievement for picking it up. And there's no point in keeping and holding on to it, so... Uh, yeah. So just sell it as soon as you get a chance. Now, it's right in the middle, and you can see it on the very first level of the game. But on the very first level of the game, you don't have the um, Kinesis module to pick up shit, so you have to wait until the second to last chapter. Mmm. Yeah. And Peng is, uh, like, their Coca-Cola of their universe. Oh, well, speaking of, um, Carson Daly. <laughs> yeah? Uh, Jimmy Fallon is, uh, on that lineup of Late Night now. Mm-hmm. And I read he was going to be embracing video games. Yes, I read that too. That's going to be fucking awesome. They, he said that they're going to treat video game releases as if they were new movie releases. So, you know, you're going to see Cliffy B on uh, on uh, Jim Late Night with Jimmy Fallon and a bunch of fat programmers. And <laughs> Well, they'll probably have, like, the famous voice actors as well. Oh, that's true. Dude, did you know 
All right, you know who David Hayter is, right? Or maybe well, not. He's Snake. Yeah, he's but I don't Snake. know who he is in real life. Oh, well. Anyway, um, he does the voice of Snake, and he wrote the screenplay for X Men Two, I think, a good one. Mm-hmm. And he also wrote the screenplay for the new Watchmen movie. That's insane. I know he's a really talented guy. Or I guess I shouldn't say that yet because I haven't seen the Watchmen yet. But well, he wrote a it movie. It comes out on. Well, yeah. Like, and he's got a cool voice. More can yeah. you want from a guy? Yeah, I don't, <laughs> I don't know, but uh, yeah. yeah, cool voice is all you need in life. <laughs> Damn it, yours is cooler than mine. Yeah, well, it's not paying the bills yet, so not yeah. Male phone sex operators. <laughs> I don't, <laughs> I don't think I could sink to that level. <laughs> no level of desperation will get you that low. No, well, that's not not that it's low. It's just I don't think I would be a I would be good at that job. I don't think girls call... I mean, I think it's more of a guy is calling girls. Yeah. Um, yeah. Media. If, if a girl was desperate uh, <laughs> for that kind of satisfaction, she could probably get it for free. I don't know, man. There's some girls I wouldn't touch with That's true. 10-foot clown pole. I guess that's... 10-foot clown pole. I guess that's why it's over the phone and not... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> not person to person. So anyway... Um, as soon as you jump down in the lower area, there's going to be like 10 of those Bulbasaur guys. Just use those um, uh, red explosive barrels that are laying around the area to kill them all. And there's a couple of these lockers that have health packs and ammo and that kind of shit. And just think about Deuce Bigelow. That's a huge bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if, if I was ever a phone sex operator, I would probably... Uh, yeah, probably think of every... Uh, I would watch Deuce Bigelow and just imagine those girls. <laughs> Did you say steak? <laughs> no, mistake. <laughs> so you're moving the stupid obelisk thing again. It's actually pretty cool. Somewhere in this game, there was like a key to translate the letters that are written all over the walls. And uh, I wish I remembered where that was, because at the end of the game, it gives you a little, like, an alien word or something like that. And I have a feeling that it's it says something important, because that's all it is. It's just, like, bam, right in your face. And I wish I could translate that. I'm sure it would take ten seconds on the internet. To find it? Yeah. Yeah, but uh, I'd rather do it myself. Yeah. Make a video of it. It'd be cool to make a video of that and show that off. Maybe it's a new cheat code or something. Yeah. Maybe you can play it in 3D. Ooh, that'd be cool. <laughs> Probably not. So as you move this obelisk, there's going to be a couple more guys coming at you. The the dark... Um, not manta rays, not bulbasaurs. Uh, what were necrophiliacs? They Necrophil no, they're not the necrophiliacs. <laughs> The Necrophilex are the manta rays. There's a couple of Bulbasaurs, but the dark, um... Oh, did you read that Bulbasaurs are babies? In the comments? No. You know, in a video we were talking about what were Bulbasaurs before they were mutated? And they were babies? No, I don't remember that conversation at all. Well, we had it. Oh. It's on video and people commented that yes, in fact, Bulbasaurs were babies prior to being necrophiliac Oh! I thought, okay. Before they're zombies or whatever, you know? My mind was in the Pokemon world, not oh. in the Dead Space world. I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? No, now Bulbasaur I know. evolves into... <laughs> uh, I don't even know. Bulbasaurus Rex. I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, these are the dark guys. There's a couple of them. Yeah, not too hard to kill. And as soon as you move the obelisk into the final position... It gets carried up to the ship, and you can. There's going to be a, little, a couple cutscenes talking to Nicole and talking to your other friend, the scientist. <laughs>